that helps us transcend heaviness, indifference, greed, despair. He, Medivh's greatness, transcend political boundaries, transcend ideologies and religion. Why? It's because of his fundamental belief of goodness, of justice, of freedom, of equality, and the belief that if we reach inside us, we can find it. That when we come together, we have the power to make the difference. Because of his belief that no child would go to bed hungry, that we are all born equal, no matter what our color is, who we are does not matter. We are equal. I believe that when we work together, we can have a better world. And that's why he touched our hearts. And I saw that when I was a school board trustee way back when, in the 80s. And I saw that when we had the divestment strategy that uh, Toronto Board of Education will not do any business with any companies that invest in South Africa at the time, that we said we would have every year a student anti-apartheid conference because we want to tell our young people the evil of discrimination and equality, une inequality. Some school trustees said, well, why would this matter some 13,000 kilometers away? Is it relevant to our young people in Toronto? No, it's not relevant. So some school trustee at that time said, oh, well, let's go cancel it. And he did. This annual conference that we have, we said, we'll do it until Mediva, Mediva is, is free. So young people got together. They descended at the school board these school trustees have never seen so many young people arriving at the place that are supposed to do their education. And they were clear. They were empowered by Mandela's idea of equality. Sure enough, school board trustee changed their mind very quickly, backed off, and we continued our and you at your apartheid conference. So when Nelson Mandela came to Canada, he came to Central Tech School. And I saw the thousands of young people, the entire place as he was walking in to, the school, uh, to, to Central Tech, the entire place was lifting up in their stomping of feet and their excitement. I tell you that energy of young people is phenomenal. And again, I experienced it in Sky Dome. It's the children that tell us what it all means when we find that goodness inside us. So that darkness has given away to light, and we can feel that joy and that light now because the sadness we feel as lost will pass. The joy and the light will endure. It will endure when we work for justice and for equality. It will endure when we take our idea and turn it into action. So the kids won't go to bed hungry. So everyone is free. So there is equality. So that when we come together in this world and love and hope, we can make a difference. So we are the legacy of Nelson Mandela. We are the legacy when we take action for peace and equality and for justice. That's why Nadiba lives. Long live Nelson Mandela.